What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Shai Mai. Uh, I made a video a couple days back showing all of the menus in Bima Cole for the G12, all of the ones that I like anyways. Um, but I left a couple um, options out that I should have added. I don't know how I left the Hi-Fi audio out, but also um, we'll add the um, battery indicator to the um, vehicle settings. Um, I'll show you what that looks like before and after. So normally, when you go to um, my vehicle settings, you probably only have, or you have lighting as the top option. And the same thing with the, um, for the audio menu. Um, most people have basically right here where it says tones, they would have Bowers and Wilkins tones. But if you have the old Logic 7 system, then you probably don't have tones or at the top of EQ, you don't have the, um, the actual tone profiles. So we're gonna add those um, right now. I'm already in Beamer Code as normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the head unit while I load up. I want you guys to know too, um, the coding for the G12 is very similar to the G30. So if you guys are um, you know, watching this video, I know mainly I do the G12, but um, they certainly, a lot of the stuff that I'm doing in the G12, because they both have the same head unit and the same um, instrument cluster. So a lot of the features should be the same, um, depending on your car, obviously features. So we are in um, the head unit. We're gonna go ahead into expert mode. And instead of searching each one, I mean, or going through each menu, we're just gonna go ahead and search. So we're gonna type in battery at the top and you'll see battery control availability. So it's set to, not active at, as default so we're going to go ahead and change that um the rest of the stuff you don't really need to be concerned with um the max you could turn it to is 100 let's say but it's set to that as a default and again for the minimum it's set to 30 as the default it could go down to five if you, if that's what you choose um but i'm not going to change any of that just basically adding the battery control availability and then we're going to search at the top for audio so there's a couple different um, things we're gonna add here. Um, one is the type of audio system. In this case, we're going to the Hi-Fi system uh, for Harman Kardon and back out of there. Because we are going into that one, it depends, like I said, um, normally you would automatically have this on for most G12s, but for some you don't. So under this section right here, high-end audio, B&W, Bowser Wilkins, we're gonna select this. So right now, because I coded it to have the Logic 7 in it, just to give you guys an idea of what it would look like if you didn't have the Harman Kardon, or not the Harman Kardon, but the Bowers and Wilkins, I set it to a different uh, um, so selection, but a value, in this case, it was on um, no menu. Um, we're gonna put it to full menu, we're gonna back out of there and then we're gonna go into what's called the high end menu. So this is the new sound system that we're gonna be adding. Um, right now it's set to no menu. Um, you can set it to light menu or in this case, we're gonna set it to full menu. And we're gonna go ahead and code that. And once that's done, I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do. So that's finishing up. So after the iDrive restarts, we'll have some different features in there. Music probably gonna start blasting. And you, you probably remember we coded in um, one of the other videos, the volume to start at 50%. So that's what it's gonna do eventually when it connects to my Bluetooth. But now in the video settings, you see we have the battery control. And uh, so on one side is obviously the lowest, the minimum 30, which we've seen in the, um, when we were coding it, you could put it down to five. Like I said, if you wanted to, on the other side, it's set to the default to 100. That's the max you could. You can lower it if you wanted to. And then the um, same thing with the tones. So before we just had tones at the bottom. Now, if we go down to the bottom, we should have Bowers and Wilkins tones. And um, we now have tone profile. So basically two menus above the equalizer so in this one we could select any one i like the lounge pretty a lot of them are great um doesn't really matter well it does a little bit it definitely will, you'll notice a difference but it doesn't matter which one you like in the um second um menu you can change it from expanded 
to studio or vice versa. Um, one thing I want you to notice is I did select expand it, but it didn't move the checkbox. If I move out of this menu and come back in, you'll notice that it is now on expanded. What happened was uh, when we was in that first menu when I was showing you the Bowers and Wilkins one, we added this tone profile. So it kind of like, I don't know if it confuses it, but it competes with it. It, it doesn't work. Um, if I turned it off the tone profile and went back in and selected these, it would actually move the check mark each time you push the button as opposed to, like I said, going in and coming back in. But it works. You would notice that off the rip once you um, selected it because it'll definitely change the way the sound is. The expanded one is more like, again, expanded. It's the entire car more so, whereas the... Um, First one, it, it typically is like most of the tweeters in the um, center channel, basically, um, sounds that come out. But play around with it. You now have um, all of that. But it did remove the um, Logic 7 from there because, again, they you added those other two sound systems. But um, I like the Logic 7. It wasn't like it was horrible. In fact, in some cases, it seemed to me the music came out a little richer. But, you know, beauties in the highs of the beholder or sound is in the ears of the beholder so whatever you guys like but you now have it if you guys like this video man don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button i appreciate you watching